In this session, we are going to see how to add upstream repositories for the Helm chart. But before that, we need to understand what is upstream repositories. If you previously worked with any Linux operating system, then you might be familiar with the apt, yum or dnf package manager so with this package manager you can install any application inside your linux operating system so similarly helm provide you upstream repositories so these repositories are something where that contains a predefined helm chart which is maintained by a helm chart community let's take an example to understand this on the screen you can see helm installed redis bitnami redis so here we are trying to install redis helm chart but before that you need to see the command here we are trying to specify bitnami slash redis that means we are trying to pull this helm chart from bitnami redis repository so this is the benefit which we get by adding the upstream repository inside our helm chart so once you add bitnami redis upstream repositories into your helm chart then you don't need to write the helm chart for bitnami redis you can pull the helm chart which is maintained and very well tested by a helm community and you can directly pull the complete Helm chart which belongs to Bitnami Redis and uh, that Redis cache in memory cache will be available to you. So the next question comes like how can I add uh, those repository into my Helm chart. So these are the five basic command which is provided by a Helm chart community uh, that is add for adding the chart into the repository list update index and remove. So these are five basic command which you can use for uh, adding or updating your upstream repository information. So first of all check what are the upstream repositories available for us once we install the Helm chart. So on the left hand side on the terminal you can see this is the uh, fresh installation of our helm chart on my kubernetes cluster so first of all i'll check the helm repo list so here you can see error uh, no repositories to show that means i have not added any repositories yet so my repo list is completely empty i have only done the installation of my helm chart that's it so the first command which we are going to see we are going to see the add command how can i add the upstream repositories to my helm chart so the command is helm repo add here you can see the repository name and the repository url so you need to specify the repository name as well as the repository url so those are the two mandatory things which you need so this is my uh, example command helm repo add bitnami that is my repository name and this is my repository url okay i'll copy this complete command and i'll paste it over here and I'll hit enter. It might take some time and once it's added so you will see this message bitnami has been added to your repository. Okay so I'll rerun that command again and remember we run the command helm repo list previously and uh, there were no repositories into our repo list. So I'll rerun that command and here you can see the name is bitnami so bitnami is the repository and this is the url so our bitnami repository has been added to our helm chart upstream repository uh, one more verification which you can do there is a command helm search repo bitnami so here you can search the uh, repo name with its uh, name actually so you can run the command helm search repo and you can type the repo name So it should return you with all the repositories which is available inside the Bitnami. So here you can see, I'll increase the size of the screen. So once I run this command, helm search repo Bitnami. So I can see all the helm chart which are available inside the Bitnami repository. So here you can see I have a different different helm chart, Airflow, Apache, Cassandra, Common, Console, Contour. So these are the repositories or the helm chart which is already built by or already maintained by a bitnami so i can fetch any of these uh, helm chart once i add the bitnami repository into my local helm chart so i mean this is the benefit which we get if you add the upstream repositories into your local helm chart so you can use any of this pre-built helm chart like kafka yumla jenkins if you need so if you need any of this pre-built helm chart then you can easily fetch in those uh, helm chart into your local uh, helm chart environment Okay, moving further, the next command which we are going to see is going uh, going to be list command. I think I think I have already shown you this command. So the command is helm repo list, 
and that will list you all the re upstream repositories which you have added right now. So that is the Bitnami which we have recently added and that's the only repo which I have right now added to my Helm chart local environment. Okay, moving to the next command. The next command is update Helm chart repository. So this command is handful when you're continuously working on a Helm chart environment and uh, you need to pull in the fresh changes which is happening in the Bitnami repository. So you can pull that repository updated information using this Helm repo update command. So that command can be run Helm repo update like this. And it will it is going to update all the latest information which is or latest changes which has been happening in the Bitnami repository. And here you can see update complete happy helming. So it will pull all the latest changes into your local helm chart local environment. Okay, moving further, the next command which we are going to see is the index Helm chart repository. Uh, this is a little special and if you remember previously we have created a hello world Helm chart. So this is our hello world Helm chart. And if you see the tree structure, so there is no index.yml available over here. So this index uh, Helm chart command, what it does it, it just creates a index.yml with some basic information. So I'll try to create this uh, index.yml so just copy this command and paste it into terminal and remember you should not be inside your helm chart directory you should be one level up and once you enter then it will create an index.yml and we can see using tree hello world command and here you should see index.yml yeah let's check the content of this index.yml what it contains so you can copy this command cat hello world index.yml and I'll paste it over here. So here you can see the API version entries and generated date. So it is just a date stamp which is which it is stamping over there. So this is the index.yml command which you can use for your purpose. Okay moving further the next command which I'm going to see is the remove command. So if you Remember previously we have added a Bitnami repository into our current Helm chart. So now we want to remove it. So how can I do that? So the command is pretty simple. Always remember it will start with the Helm repo then the uh, remove and the repo name. So that is Bitnami. Okay and here you can see Bitnami has been removed from your repositories and you can verify using this command. So there are no repositories to show. So as you can see now we are able to remove the repositories also. So these are the very basic five command which comes handy uh, with your repository uh, update, delete or maintenance if you want to perform. And you can see all these commands over here in this guide. In the next session we are going to focus on the plugin, how we can install the different types of plugin available inside our Helm chart and what are the different features provided by the plugins. I hope you liked the today's session on the, how to handle the upstream repositories inside our Helm chart and if you have any question then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to get back to you.